There are many places throughout the world with paranormal activity and haunted places, but some of the most haunted can be found in Iceland. Today I'm going to be counting down the top 5 haunted places in Iceland you should never visit. In at number 5 we have Stocksnes Beach. The Stocksnes Beach is a popular sightseeing spot for locals and tourists to see and take pictures of the northern lights, but many people think that this beach is extremely haunted. It is located in the southeast coast of Iceland and has a stunning view with a massive mountain and beautiful black sand. A photographer, Eric Bennett, had an experience where he had stayed on the beach all night to wait for the lights to take pictures. He and his friend Matt were the only people there as the sun went down and the ocean tide came up and washed away all the footprints from the people during the day. They go to the car for a nap and at 11pm they wake up and find the northern lights shining throughout the sky. They get out their tripods and cameras and start shooting. They were the only two people on the beach. When they looked down they saw mysterious footprints leading up to their tripod and then they just stopped. They were big, defined wet footprints. They suddenly turned on their headlamps and no other footprints of humans were found in sight. Eric showed the photos he had taken of the footprints to Matt and he freaked out saying he had a strange feeling the entire night and wasn't able to nap because he felt like someone was standing outside of the car watching them. The two men stayed and tried to take more photos but they started hearing voices being carried around the beach by the wind. A dark and heavy feeling was weighing on them so they left immediately and as they drove away the heavy feeling started going away. Eric had told his story to a fellow traveler and the man had just finished a documentary about the haunted beach and that there have been many sightings by locals and tourists of a giant hairy man walking out of the ocean at night. This beach is also home to many shipwrecks over time and many believe that the souls that have passed away from these wrecks still roam the beach to this day. In at number 4 we have Hivitvartan Lake. Hivitvartan Lake otherwise known as White River Lake is located in the highland on the Kajola Highland. Many icebergs surround the area and because of the glacial rivers the lake always looks a bit milky which contributes to the nickname. One of the many huts or travel lodges in the highlands that locals and tourists can stay in while in Iceland. There is one hut in particular that is rumoured to be haunted and it's the mountain hut at Hitvartnes nearby the lake. It's rumoured to be one of the most haunted places in Iceland. The hut was built by the Icelandic Touring Association in 1930 and there are many paranormal stories surrounding this hut since its inception. Many claim to see the ghost of a young lady dressed in grey in the hut. Many locals and guests claim to experience disturbances by the spirit and some have claimed to have seen her in one of the windows from outside when arriving late at night and then when entering the hut it was empty. A particular bed in the hut is believed to be unsafe and almost impossible to sleep in. Many people who have tried to sleep in the bed claim that they have been kicked out of the bed by force during the night and when they were woken up no one was around. It's said that this is a ghost of a young woman and it's her bed and she won't allow anyone to sleep in it, hence why people are forced out of the bed while sleeping. Many travelling in Iceland avoid staying in this hut but many paranormal Normal investigators and ghost lovers visit to try and come in contact with the woman. In at number 3 we have Holabalagara Cemetery. There are many cemeteries around the world and many of them are haunted and that's also the case for the Holabalagara Cemetery. This cemetery is one of the most famous in Iceland and is often called the Old Churchyard. It opened in 1838 in Reykjavik and is the largest 19th century cemetery in all of Iceland and was replacing a previous burial ground used since the Viking times. The city placed the graveyard on a small hill a couple of blocks off the city central park. Some of Iceland's most famous people are buried here, including John Sigerson, the father of Icelandic independence, Johannes Feinsen Kajavel, Iceland's most famous painter, and Ingeborg Bjarnason, the first woman member of parliament. The graveyard also houses many of the victims of the 1918 Spanish influenza pandemic and a monument to French sailors who were lost at sea. In a country with minimal trees, the cemetery is covered. It's practically a forest, which makes this resting ground that much more eerie. The graves are surrounded by willows, spruce, birch, and Rowan trees. Many come to pay respects to the legendary Icelandic buried here, but many believe the old Vikings previously buried here, along with the influence of victims, are the ones who haunt the living to this day. A videographer from New Zealand that films his travels visited Iceland and went to the cemetery during the night. And he claims to have caught orbs on camera that were floating in and around the gravestones. He had created an entire video of this finding, and he was convinced that there was paranormal activity at this cemetery, and he was thoroughly spooked during his time there. Many paranormal investigators and ghost hunters come to try and interact with these spirits. Locals and tourists who have visited the cemetery have seen spirits and have felt that they are being watched. Many believe the spirits often haunt the grounds at night time, so if you're planning a trip to Iceland, I would avoid the cemetery, especially after the sun goes down. In at number 2 we have the Priest's Stone. Many people in Iceland and in the surrounding areas believe in and have many tales of elves, trolls and fairy people. One of the most famous tales is about haunted rock, where a kind and loving priest's spirit haunts and terrorises his love even after death 
and he still haunts the rock and the people who visit it. The story has been told for ages and is very well known among the people of Iceland. It took place in Hogardula, not far away from a town of Akuriai. The story has slightly changed over time, but it's believed that it started on a stormy night before Christmas, when a priest's apprentice rode quite a distance to meet the woman he was in love with. On the way there, the weather was rough, and he drowned while crossing a raging river, and only his horse survived. His love, not knowing of his death, gets a visit the next evening. In the darkness, she believed that it was the priest's apprentice and goes out with him on his horse. During the ride, the man's hat falls off, revealing it was a skeleton. She gains no peace from this ghost, who wants her to join him in death. She goes to a sorcerer for help, and he achieves putting the ghost to rest, but it was on unholy ground, right outside the graveyard at the country church at Mikra. The cursed stone is still believed to hold the lovesick priest's apprentice captive to this day, and the stone is still very visible. Due to this famous tale, many tourists and locals come to see the cursed rock, hoping to come in contact with the priest's apprentice's ghost. In at number one, we have Hofoy House. The most haunted place in all of Iceland is the Hofoy House. It is believed by locals and tourists to be the most haunted place. This home is located in the city of Reykjavik. It was built back in 1909 and sits on the waterfront just off Borgarten. This home was inspired by Nordic Art Nouveau and was constructed in Norway and shipped to Iceland. The Hofoy home has a haunting history. It was initially built for the French consul Jean Paul Boulogne in Iceland. Then it was sold to a judge and a poet in Einar Benningsen who claimed it was haunted by the ghost of a young woman often nicknamed the White Lady. The ghost is that of Solberg Johnstadir who had poisoned herself after Einar's verdict on a notorious case. At the home she would often appear at the night and haunt him and the owners of the home claimed to hear strange noises and see the figure of a woman in the early hours of the morning. Other accounts believe that she had drowned or that the home was built on Viking burial site where the souls of the Vikings still roam the house and the land around it. This home is best known for in 1986 when former US President Ronald Reagan and Soviet leader Mikhail Gorbachev where they discussed negotiations on military control and disarmament. The Hofoy has come to represent Iceland's diplomacy in the start of the demise of the Cold War. In 2015, a sculpture of Aina was made and is displayed outside the home. It has also housed many of the famous figures over the years, including Queen Elizabeth, Winston Churchill, and Marlene Dietrich. Nowadays, the Hofoy is owned by the city of Reykjavik and is currently used for official receptions and meetings, and it's not open to the public, but many locals and tourists flock to explore the home from the outside, hoping to come in contact with the ghost of Solberg. Well, there we have it. Thanks for tuning into this video. I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Hivit Farten. Hivit Farten. Hivit Farten like. Hivit Farten. Hivit Farten? Hovalag o ho holavalagoro. Garo. Holavalagora. Gara. Holavalagora. Gara. Gora. Valagora. Ingib Jorg Jan Bajanison. Ingib Borg Jib Okay. Huh? It is believed by locals and tourists to believe. Huh? It is believed by. Oh, I'm just trying to wing it because the sentence doesn't make sense. And sits on the waterfront just off Bargat. It was built back in 1909 and sits on the. Fo it is believed by tourists and. Oh, locals and tourists. Well, we're. Well, there we have it. Thanks for tuning into this video. I'll see you in the next one. Jesus.